everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Suzette stitch, which is a very pretty stitch as you can see here. It creates a nice solid fabric that is uh, the same on the front as it is on the back. So it's a great reversible stitch. Lots of uses for this. You can let me know in the comments uh, what kind of project you would use this stitch in and uh, I'm so glad that you're here. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. There'll be links for both of these items in the description of this video as well as a link for the free written instructions for the Suzette stitch which is found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and we'll learn how to crochet this beautiful Suzette stitch. For our Suzette stitch, we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then today for this stitch, you're going to need to start with a foundation chain that has an odd number of stitches. So today I'm going to start by chaining 21. and 21. Then what you're going to do is into the second chain from your hook, so count in one, two, you're going to start by working one single crochet stitch and one double crochet into that same chain. Skip one chain and then into the next chain, work a single crochet and a double crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, into the next chain, work a single crochet and a double crochet stitch. Skip one, single crochet and double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain where you will work one single crochet stitch. So in your last stitch, this is my last pair, single crochet, and then you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now it, working into that first single crochet stitch, you're going to start your pattern again. So into that first single crochet, work a single crochet stitch and one double crochet stitch. Skip the next double crochet and into the next single crochet, work a single crochet and a double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, so working a single crochet and a double crochet stitch into each single crochet all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to end the row by working a single crochet stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work, and this pattern is great because it's a simple one row repeat. You're just going to repeat this row that we're working on now for the length of your pattern. And that's all there is to working this Suzette stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.